Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. You may notice I'm not Greg. And that's because Greg is actually on vacation. I'm not Greg. Greg, not Greg, not not Greg, not Greg, not not Greg, not not Greg. Okay. And I get off my set. Oh, all right. Well, have fun. Will do. Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. I'm not Greg. Greg is on vacation this week, so I'm filling in. Got three stories for you. The first is U.S. House of Representatives is going after Autel, much in the same way they have uh, DJI. Uh, we got a Cybertruck drone dock, which is pretty interesting. And then a bunch of older DJI drones just got added to the remote ID list. Let's get to it. First up this week is U.S. House of Representatives, who this time they've set their sights on Autel Robotics instead of DJI. Much like they've done in the past, they're calling for investigation into Autel stating Autel Robotics is openly affiliated with China's PLA and poses a direct threat to the U.S. national security. We've seen this situation occur a bunch of different times with DJI, um, and they've been placed on a variety of different U.S. government lists. Um, the House is now questioning if Autel should be joining some of these lists. The inclusion on the lists would impose export restrictions and or restrictions on purchasing for U.S. government entities like the National Forest Service or National Park Service. Currently, there's been no comment by Autel. Uh, there's also been no comment by the Department of Commerce or the Department of Treasury. And we'll follow up if we see anything else about this. Next up this week is a interesting one out of China, actually. It's a drone dock designed specifically for Tesla's new Cybertruck. The DCAP CT is a drone dock that's aimed at Mavic-sized aircraft that goes in the bed of the Cybertruck. The idea is that it's going to be able to be used on just that truck, but they have a variety of different other docks that go under roof racks of vehicles. So you got a Suburban or you got a pickup with a roof rack or even like a Kia Soul, I guess. You can put a, a roof rack on there and contain something up to the size of Matrice 30. The dock itself is IP55 and has an open SDK. The dock also has the ability to charge two to 14 cell batteries. So this is pretty cool tech for those who are on the go and may want to be able to sit inside your car if it's nice and hot or nice and cold outside. Last up this week is a number of old DJI drones that have been added to the DOC list as of, well, the day we're recording this actually. So the sixth, as of the 6, we've got the Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, Phantom 4 V2.0, uh, DJI FPV, Mavic Air 2, and Mavic 2, oh, I'm sorry, Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced, and the Phantom 4 RTK are all now remote ID approved. So they are on the DOC list. You no longer need a module for any of these drones. If you have one of these, be sure to update it. DJI's updates are what's bringing the functionality, so if you don't update, it's not actually going to tr transmit any remote ID and you're not compliant. Upon further inspection of the DOCs, uh, it does look like either DJI or the FA kind of messed up. There's only two serial, serial numbers approved for each drone. So right now your registration of your older Mavic 2 Pro, Zoom, DJI FPV, Phantom is not gonna work. They're gonna get that fixed. Once they do, then you can register your drone and we'll be all set. Along with all these older drones added to the list was the DJI Flycart 30. If you're unfamiliar with it, this is the DJI delivery drone, basically. I'm interested to see if they're going to bring this to a US market, which initially they said they weren't going to. DJI, if you're watching this, please send us one. Please. That's it, that's all we've got for you. Have a great weekend and we'll, well, Greg, we'll see you next week for the live event. Have a good one. Hello. Hello, Greg. What's up? It's Ben. I know you're on vacation, but I need to talk to you about Jason. Earlier, I asked him, can we get crumble cookies on the company card today? And he was all like, uh, no, not right now, Ben. So I said, well, can I leave myself and like get some and come back in an hour or so? And then he was like, Ben, we have work to do. <sighs> I know, it was rude. And then I said, maybe I can leave early for the day and get some on the way home then. You know what he did? He laughed in my face. <laughs> No. So anyways, I was thinking maybe we should have a discussion about leaving Jason in charge next time and... <clears throat> Hello? Greg? I lost you. <clears throat> hey, Greg said I could leave early. Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>